get up, get just literally lift off and you should see the time as long as you've got the time in the bank you should see that you can be able to score green perfect time as Giovinazzi is not going to get out of our way okay, you have what is he doing he's ruined our quality lap I mean it wasn't a great quality lap but it was a been a banker it's the two red balls and then as I was coming out to P8 okay, Ricardo and Norris somehow decided they'd teleport out of the pit lane onto the main straight. I mean, we've caught up to Lance Stroll, um, but this is this is what is causing a queue up ahead. Is the fact there's a Williams in third place. George Russell is in third. I don't think we've ever will ever see Williams. Uh, sick. Racing Point deserved a win today, and they got it. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? I think we'll chalk this one up to a deft touch on the brake pedal. That's allowed them to challenge down the inside into the braking zones, and ultimately, if you do that often enough, you end up winning the race. So hello everyone and welcome back to another video of F1 2019 Kurumo. Today was supposed to be around uh, the China, but unfortunately um, we're doing Bahrain again because the game crashed. So yes, and also the strategy just by get doing the just by uh, on a set after a lunchtime apart has suddenly switched from being two sets of soft to one set of soft tyres. Just five red lights. And away we go, once again from P number 5 on the grid. See that quality lap in the previous episode. Stappen is going to go around the outside. We're going to go three wide with both the Red Bulls. We're going to get pinched by the Red Bulls. That's a dickhead sandwich right there. And we got a collision. Good. Good, we don't need that. We don't need twat number one get, getting in our way as we try and hold on to P number 5. Fortunately though, um, Butler doesn't. Butler came back at us, and um, with, with straight line speed. However, we're going to come back with uh, the dark, with the dive bomb down the inside, understeer to make sure that he can't uh, get back of us and retake P5 in this Grand Prix. Of course, he keeps on trying. Goes down the inside into the final corner now, which once again Butler loses out on I'm sure for Stappen will once again want to pounce and it should DD does as we go into the pits the end of lap five um entire wears at 58 percent on the front left front left is be proving to be a little bit problematic so far in the series it was the front left that was wearing in Australia um for in uh, yesterday's video and wearing t in the, the today's crew mode Video. Um, we come out last place. Um, this time Norris and Ricardo are, aren't going to teleport out of the pits. Butler is going to lose out massively. We catch up to this huge train of cars um, in front of us. We've got the likes of Leclerc, there's a couple of Williams, a couple of McLarens, Lewis Hamilton, I believe, is in there. Two, there's a couple of Toro Rosso's, a couple of racing points. All the slower cars who are doing the one stop. Oh, so there's a yellow flag up the head. Looks like uh, oh, it's Lewis Hamilton. He's off. He's off the circuit. Is he out the Grand Prix? Let's get a replay from Lewis Hamilton. So he gets pinched here. He tries to go around the outside and locks up. Why were you doing that, Lewis? You got the. You're in the Mercedes. Uh, he's lost out. Clearly, he's lost out to myself. He's lost out to Butler as well. Um, See, so at moving to lap eight now, and this is starting to get. Little bit messy. We've got cars coming in and out of the pits, left, right, and centre. We've got good bits of Verstappen's coming out of the pits. Down the inside, double dive bomb. Russell and Raikkonen and Vettel are all getting rather too close for comfort uh, as we get double dive bomb. Vettel and sorry, uh, Leclerc and Kubica 
uh, making the right move on Leclerc. Uh, Leclerc tried to turn on this, but in the end, I like the position there. But however, moving to lap 10 the following lap, he did come back at us using the DRS. Um, I'm going to give him room on the outside, take the curbing. Unfortunately, there's really nowhere else for us to go, and he manages to remain take that P10. But it's not for long because, of course, we're into um, later on in lap 10 down the um, the other the other uh, second DRS zone. Excuse me. Um, we do get him back. Now we're looking at. Vettel, R Russell, Raikkonen. They're all getting quite so feisty uh, with S Stroll up ahead. Russell locks up, has to stroll. They're all too close to a company. Leclerc is there as well. The hand of frustration goes up ahead. This is going to get messy. This is going to get messy. Oh dear. They've got Vettel, but there's a force, a, s a racing point, excuse me, coming out of the pits. We've got Hamilton. He's gonna, we're going to have to go dive it down the outside of Stroll and everybody else. And that will turn to the inside for the next corner. Do we get the position? Yes, we do. And that's what we call speed drive. Look how many cars there. That's just caught a miracle. Nobody lost. Well, nobody retired really or got, got chopped off here. Because um, that was too close for companies. Perez was coming out of the pits. Hamilton has chum to join the party as well. And with Verstappen. Uh, Alfa Romeo locks up. And so... So yes, uh, and Hamilton um, makes position. Now moving to lap 12 now, and as with the first race we did, somebody is out. Yes, Alex Albon. This time though, he's not at the end of the court, got a train behind him, he pulls over to the side, pretty much in the exact same spot actually, and is out of the race. Virtual safety car's been deployed for him as well. Uh, which is very annoying considering the fact he's off the circuit so he doesn't need a virt the game does not need to put out a virtual safety car for every retirement I moving to lap 14 somebody else is out that went out in the, the uh, first race that we did Valtteri Bottas the man with a, an engine failure uh, as well he was leading the race um, at the time so that puts Vettel in a good spot as does it put this man Roman Grosjean he's made his final stop everybody else around him including ourselves and battle up ahead have got to make up a pit stop um, Confirmed. We'll receive you at the end of this lap. as moon to lap 17 we have the lead of the uh, Grand Prix um, we're going to come in though to make our second and final stop onto another set of the medium tyres and this will take us to the end of the race. Um, Haas are coming in as well. We need to get out before the Haas driver comes in. Um, we do a v Weber. Um, and Norris is going to go past. Kvyat is going to go past. We're going to come out by the looks of it into P7. So we've got a couple of cars to overtake. If we, wanna, if we want to make it to the end of the Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel has come out ahead of us. He's got a bit of a gap now and is caught up to the leading pair of Sergio Perez on the mediums and Roman Grosjean. Both of them going to the end of the Grand Prix on the medium tyres. Grosjean leading the Grand Prix. Although Vettel will surely change that. As we to lap four now, we're starting to uh, catch up um, to Perez and Grosjean. We are up in P4 now. so. That overtake that we did where it got a little bit messy has paid off. Uh, but up ahead of us, um, Perez isn't going to sit back here. He knows that I'm coming in the Renault on faster on better compound of tyres. So he's going to, he's making a tactical move to move ahead of Romain Grosjean. And another person who's been coming back, I'm pretty sure Leclerc has got some damage because Hamilton has now come through. So moving to lap 27, it took us a very lot, a bit of a time to catch up to Grosjean and Perez, but finally we do on lap, lap end of lap 27, going on to lap 28, the penultimate lap of the Grand Prix. We have DRS on Grosjean, and we are going to go through up to P3. Have the move confirmed over braking. Hopefully we don't understeer um, like a banana and move up. And actually took to the end of the, the penult end of lap 28 to catch up to Perez and to be in a position to overtake 
the Mexican um, who's going to try and be on for a podium today. Um, Final lap of the race, and we're going to see what we can do down the inside. Paris has more straight on speed than Grosjean, because um, we've actually only got him under braking, but still, P2 it is, um, and we should stay ahead of Paris, or is Paris going to come back at us? Um, no, Paris isn't going to come back at us. We should comfortably see this, in fact, we do actually comfortably see it through for P2. Which is a very good result, considering the fact we're this early in the championship after the horrific episode last uh, in, in Australia. P2 it is for the Bahrain Grand Prix. Well that was a fantastic drive. Thank you, Jeff. So, another excellent win from Ferrari. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. Here come our winners now. A thrilling race and a tremendous effort by Ferrari. Their history is well known, so it's no surprise to fans the world over to see them come out on top once again. So yes, P2 it is. Uh, Vettel got fastest fastest lap, but somehow the game has glitched and only given 25 points and not 26. Um, Perez finished third, Grosjean fourth, Hamilton fifth. Um, and Verstappen was sixth. Um, lots of people making the one stop. Carlos Sainz, the two stop was the preferred one apart from Perez and Grosjean making it work. Um, with the pace that they had. So into the standings, we move, jump up the standings now to P5. Ricardo is only P12, um, which is unfortunate for him. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. The now ahead of your old F2 rival in the championship. That must feel good. Um, nothing really to say there. You were cutting your way through the field during the race. Yes, uh, that, that one moment was pretty hectic, but um, it didn't look as well. We, um, our engineers have done a fantastic job with the power unit Everything to get, went your get way the today. cut through. It looked like you had a really good strategy for the race. We did it. The team really pulled out all the stops really to get us in the position we needed to be in your today. Must be thrilled. I couldn't do without a great team behind me. I mean, great. Well, that's banana making sure that the banana is actually going in the straight line. So yes, moving to the uh, rivalry, we actually now lead Ricardo 10 to nine. Um, we'll look to assign our rivalry very soon. Um, I'm not sure we can do it in this race. It might be the uh, episode after 313 resource points. We haven't scored 32 resource points. I've uh, 32 points, which I don't get why the target from the off is so hard we should be it should be an easier target we should be able to pick an easier target but we can't, I couldn't negotiate that at all just wanted to say congrats on the podium it's thoroughly deserved we were sweating those last few laps on the pit wall but you brought it home thank you Jeff first podium Ricardo um, sitting opposite um, has nothing really to do as we look around Great work this, whatever else happens, if you can keep putting the par on the podium, I doubt it could drop in the difficulty level. We failed the hard team goal, um, we'll try and lower that when we come round to the next contract negotiations. 8th um, and 8th, I, I can understand that. We can now select a rival, and um, we've got a choice of two drivers, Roman Grosjean or Lucas Weber. Well, to be fair, we almost lost out to Grosjean, Weber we've managed to beat in both races, um, so I think Weber will be the person that we go for. We get plus 10% on the purple, which I've got no idea what that means. Um, so yes, the rivalry starts from the next race. 
Now R&D, we've got 973 resource points. We've got a uh, chassis weight reduction to uh, look at. We can't afford a major upgrade yet, um, but we are going to purchase a rear downforce upgrade as well, just to provide us that bit. Although we are looking at power um, and also reliability is going to be something that needs to come in um, as well for future races. So yes, that's going to be it for today's episode of Career Mode. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you new to see more episodes of F1 2019 Career Mode as and when they come out. The ep next episode, episode 5 from China, has already been recorded. Um, should be coming very soon, obviously, work permitting. But until the next video, I'll see you next time. Take care, enjoy your day, and goodbye.